Curtis Blair will toss it between Claxton and Jackson, and we are underway. There was some wonderment whether or not Ben Simmons would be available. He is active for Brooklyn tonight, but not in his starting role. The one guy you'd like to keep under wraps early is this man right here, Aaron Jackson Jr. with a spike back there. Dorian Finney-Smith misses the reload, so Jaron getting the early block. Jaron, one-on-one with Claxton. Backs him down, Claxton got his hand in there. Jaron got it to the rim, but could not. From the small forward position, has been able to show the playmaking skills. Kennard for three, bango. Kennard had a lengthy streak of multiple three-point make games snap against the Clippers. Schroeder, a lob for Claxton that almost went in the basket. Rizzi's trying to run back the other way. Rebound and run, a Zaire three, no. Don't abandon, rim runs. Rose sets up Jaren for three. Rim runs don't always. Gaining that confidence, Martin. Keep, keep building on that confidence. Jaren backing down, lost the handle. Picked up by Cam Thomas. And the rebound to Jaren. Lost it against Claxton out of bounds. Jaron, one on one with Claxton, misses the hook. Rebound, finds it. And then you can continue to move forward from there. Jaron backs down, faces up, misses against Claxton. GG cracking the glass, can't get it back. And then even in one on one situations, they have keyed in on Jaron Jackson Jr. Player psychology of a mid-season coaching change, and the guy that gets the job has the interim tag. It's not a permanent hire necessarily. Finney Smith. You know, we talk a lot about hustle plays right now. Executing, game plan discipline. That's all on the Brooklyn Nets side in this first half. 6.1 free throw attempts per game. able to establish any type of offensive flow. There's no the other thing we talked about, you said Taylor talked about it, we talked about it. Jaron driving. Rebound snatch. Individual pride, but also a, a Bisman-like work attitude. As Claxton comes up with a block there on the interior. From the stripe, Grizzlies 10 of 12 tonight. Jaron now six of seven. To this point, but the aggressive basketball has allowed him the free throw attempts. The other thing, too, that's a third foul on Claxton. And one of those guys is going to be around his lead for a very long time. Jaron goes to the spin, blocked again by Claxton, and Jaron was out of bounds. One of those guys is going to be around his lead for a very long time. Jaron goes to the spin, blocked again by Claxton, and Jaron was out of bounds. Nets have also not won consecutive games over the Grizzlies since winning in March of 2018. Stolen by Jaron. Two on one. Euro. Yes, and the foul. Since winning in March of 2018. Stolen by Jaron. Two on one. Euro. Yes, and the foul. Johnson into the game for Brooklyn. A lot of time left in this game for the Grizzlies. So just. He's got to find a rhythm. Defensively, they switched up on their defensive side. The screening rolls, they're switching everything. Take a round in the game, and then here, still over half of his third quarter left. 70% tonight, normally 82%. Maybe they flipped the script here. They're off to a good start here in the third. Three ball, back iron. Rebound Walker with 11 off the bench. Jaren again sharp. Rebound tapped around. Aldama gets it back. Good hustle there. By All star break. Jacques Vaughn is let go. Kevin Ali takes over. It's interesting because Kevin Ali worked the last couple of seasons. This is his first season with the organization. Yeah, and, and the other thing is that he's had NBA experience. He's had college experience at the highest level with UConn. And so he's been able to coach high level players. Jaren, Laravia Rose, Watanabe, and Lamar Stevens. Bridges, Finney Smith, Thomas Walker, and Ben Simmons. Jaron. Wow, it's just been one of those nights. 
Well, it, it would be a tactical substitution when he comes in the game every time. And whatever tactics you're up to would be positive. Another rough night.